Hello, everyone. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. Yes, welcome to uh, What's Old Saturday, and welcome to a What's Old Saturday that has Ryan in it. I was just going to say, I've not <laughs> been in one of these for what seems like forever. Even though it's only been like two weeks, but still. It feels like an eternity. Yeah. Welcome back to Ryan for What's Old Saturday. Oh. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul that went up on Thursday. I know it went up a bit later, and I know that recently, I feel like, we've had later videos being posted. Like, still on the right days, mm -hmm. but a little later, and some haven't been premiered. So with like me doing the second channel and really trying to like do at least one a week on there It's been a little bit harder to stay super on top of stuff, but I yeah. am trying my best So if you guys watch the haul, thank you very much But this week of what's on Saturday covers the 17th through the 23rd Which means that we are officially in fall oh. and it feels amazing outside It literally <laughs> feels like the switch got turned on It was like 92 one day and then it was like first day of fall and it was like 62 On the 20th like the 65. high was 92 and on the 21st, the high was like 72. It was so then it was nice. 65. And then yesterday it was actually like 50, like oh. lower 50. So it was almost like chilly, but I will take it. It was not so complaining. nice. This week definitely was not like last week. If you guys saw last week's What Sold Saturday with Deborah, Deborah, uh, Deborah. I had probably my best sales week ever, mainly because of I one feel like item. I that every week. Myth. Well, not this week. <laughs> Mainly because of one item, which was the MCM leather moto oh, jacket. Yeah. And I will update you guys, I got five stars. So that was accepted. And Money's in the bank, stars. which is always That's important. Very exciting. But this week is not like that for me. I had, like, quantity-wise, a lot of sales, but dollar wise less than i have for the past couple weeks um i feel like i had a pretty average week i had a busier week at school than i was anticipating because i only worked tuesday thursday and then next week i'll work monday wednesday friday um so i didn't get like a whole lot of work done i have things like listed they're in the wings waiting to get listed so anything from the hall that you have been wanting i'm so sorry today is probably the day where it will get yeah put out into the world and i feel like you've been too busy doing other things besides sharing like, it's been yeah. a... Because on Monday, we went to the bins. Mm -hmm. You took pictures, like, all day, all day. on, like, Wednesday or something. Tuesday. So it's been very... And then you work Tuesday, Thursday. And I so. can share from my phone. Yes. Which has literally been, like, the saving grace. Is I do it in my little, like, prep period. That. When I have, like, a little 20 minute, I'll just, like... Boop. Or if we're, like, at a brewery, I can oh just, God. like, select all, share, or something it's like that. It's literally so amazing. amazing. Anyways, I do... Honestly, my only, like, higher, higher-ish dollar sales were on eBay. So I do have a couple eBay ebay sales to share and then i have one depop i have seven depop and one mercari so i guess i'll just do all four of mine and then you can do all of your other platform ones so my first one i really thought that this would sell on posh it just seems like a poshmark item and it was doing very good but it sold on ebay it was this tna super puff iridescent purple down puffer coat i was quite tempted to keep this but actually mm -hmm. target made a knockoff of it last wild year fable one and i mm -hmm. own that so there's no need for me to keep this plus i knew how much money I could make. Oh, yeah. So I paid up quote unquote for this. I paid like 32 ish. I knew it would be worth it. These things retail for what? Like they're like upper two or are they mid three? I want to say like three fifty something three and some change. Maybe it, they might be around three fifty. So I listed it at like two eighty five or something. This person offered two hundred, but since it's eBay and I will get less of a fee taken out, I thought that that was OK. So I took two hundred and I can't see exactly what I netted, but 200 gross. Then I also sold this Versus Versace Y2K oh. strappy corset mini dress. Did you get this in Texas? I was just going to say, this is from Houston. This is oh. when we visited Melinda. Which we miss. I miss her so much. So I got this at a Buffalo Exchange, I believe. Yeah, because you bought this the same time that I bought a Unif dress. That was like that the nicest Melinda. Buffalo Exchange we oh my went God, to. It was I think so I got a bougie. road dress, like R-H-O-D-E. Mm -hmm. that I sent to the real real and they marked that really high and I got yeah. this. There was a lot of good I got a ton of stuff that Buffalo Exchange. I kind of went a little AWOL. Yeah. Which is like the theme of that trip. So right this I <laughs> got for 50 to 60 I think. And it sold for 225 and I think I had this listed at like 465 but Obviously, we went to Houston like a year ago, mm -hmm. so I'm totally willing to let her move on because, yes. like, I know Y2K is still booming, powing, very popular. Mm -hmm. At some point, obviously, we will start to like either see it fade a little. Uh, I or wonder what they, away. I hope it's not like 2010 fashion yeah. where everybody even though, just wore like Aeropostale t shirts. Even though I will say the 90s have been in for like 
over 10 years. <laughs> like, Yeah, they so, kind of have been here for like a while. I'm not too scared that Y2K would go away anytime soon. No. Or very drastically. But still, I mean, I was happy to move it along. So it sold for $225. Then my last eBay one was this pair of Johnny Was embroidered cargo belted pants. These were from Turnstile, which we've said is a local consignment oh, yeah. store. Mm -hmm. I paid like 16 for these. That's pretty good. And they sold for 105 which I thought was a very good price. I have had quite mm -hmm. not that good a luck with Johnny Was lately, honestly. Especially pants. I think Johnny Was is kind of like I tip the know. iceberg. Yeah. You know? I think it like used to be a big moment like back in the day. Or it's just lost a lot of value and you just can't price it how it That's was. like high. So, much so this was quite mm -hmm. good and quite surprising. 105. Yeah. And my one Depop one is very, very fitting for the season. This and so you'll see throughout my week, I sold so many seasonally and holidayally Holiday appropriate <laughs> items. This vintage Halloween tacky cat pumpkin jack-o'-lantern crop sweatshirt. Ugh. All of my Depop titles are like wish titles. They're like Katy Perry songs. Because you just gotta <laughs> throw them on. <laughs> Ooh, uh, <laughs> so this had 51 likes and it sold straight out for $40. Love. $40. I love the Depop And I will sales. say I did crop this myself. I think it made it more I like, think that's fine. for the girlies. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's yeah. very girlies. I don't know mm -hmm. if it would have done as well if it wasn't cropped. So I don't think I, it would have. I do. Objectively. I stand by that decision. It yes. did pay off. Okay, so my first, we'll do the Mercari sale because it's only one and I never ever ever make a Mercari sale. So I, me and eBay are not good friends currently. I don't really know what's going on. They won't let me post anything, and I'm just gonna wait until they like open the gates again. Open I have no the heavenly eBay. Yeah, I have gates. like no idea. So I've been like putting a few more things in Mercari, really focusing on Depop though. Uh, and I sold this Coach Metallic Blue Large Derby Top Handle Tote Bag, sold for sixty dollars, and I make like. Fifty-two something. What's like mm -hmm. sixty minus ten? They're a little over ten percent now, so probably it's about fifty-two. Like something, something like that. Which is funny because isn't it? Which that, that was a bin sign. when you got that? Yeah, and you had just bought like the same one from a consignment store like a couple days earlier. I have it in a red, red and I sold it in blue. Which yeah, is nice. That was so. It was like the same it week. Was. And then on Depop, I had seven sales, one of which was a bundle, which was very exciting for me. First Depop bundle. First was this vintage Delia's 90s Y2K navy blue single-breasted corduroy cropped blazer going into the theme with the witch titles. But this had 31 likes, which I thought was quite popular. That sold for $40 outright. And then I sold this vintage Y2K 90s cowgirl festival graphic, graphic sleeveless top. Sold for 19 These always do so good. And they're always from this one cactus. brand called, it's either like Skinny Mini or Cactus. Yeah. And they make these like really tacky. I feel like there's one more brand that does it too. But Cactus, I feel like the most often. They remind me of, speaking of Texas again, when we went to Bucky's. Mm -hmm. They had them in like the Bucky's like home section. It's very Southern boutique or like Southern guest. Or like, yeah, literally. <laughs> but I it gave sold him that. So fast. So fast. Then I sold this retro okay. 90s Y2K preppy black white plaid western sleeveless top. Sold full price for $24. Just don't give me any credit. Oh. That was from Jack. And I had it listed, of course, and it was not doing that well. Because Ryan is Depop King. I love Depop. Honestly, like, I am so sorry for poo-pooing and crapping on the Depop. It is now easily becoming one of my absolute favorite platforms. This was my most liked active listing that I had on Depop. And she finally, she finally left me. Vintage 90s Y2K Black Sheer Shimmer Tank Top. There was no brand. I think this was originally intended to be lingerie. Because it was literally, like, clear. Black <laughs> clear um and it sold full price for 28 dollars. black pvc black literally CVC. it was like that thin halloween costume <laughs> like witch fabric that somebody it's dung like, on fashion into a top it's like one of those windows that you put the like tinting black over it's like it was like the light like you could still clearly see into that car if this is a window <laughs> tint. and it literally w weighed nothing it's so those proving sunglasses that, like, that really aren't that tinted at all. Yes, you can, just you can see the still people's see eyes. people's eyes, in them, which makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> um, so this is my proof that like brand doesn't matter on Depop. Style is the big thing. Pay attention to your hashtags. I hashtagged this Y2K 90s Club Disco Depop. 106 likes. 105 people and this top. as you can see we both do like we said the wish title throw mm -hmm. every every single everything keyword. what are they saying the kitchen sink like every single put keyword. everything that you can think of that applies don't be throwing in things that like aren't true don't do any of that. That like don't be like don't say vintage if it's not or don't no i don't step out of the keywords but it's there any that do apply all of them 
Yes. Use every single one. I have also been getting a lot, because I've been posting these on my Instagram story, because I just hit 100 Depop sales. Oh, I'm proud of myself. Maybe a net second Depop video is in the oh. works at some point. I have no idea. We potentially. Used so much more now. Yes. And I feel like I actually kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> Speaking of, little interruption. We also may be considering doing another bins 10 tips, because we did one of those a while ago, but I feel like Virgin. we would have <laughs> maybe some better ones or some more so mm -hmm. that's a possibility as well mm -hmm. um next do pop this came from one of my lovely little consignment clients this was so cute it was this juicy couture vintage authentic like early 2000s vintage kids pick track jacket it was for a little 10 year old the child is gonna wear this i can only imagine where they would go from here it sold for 25 dollars, and that's for the kids one which is super good so here is the bundle i sold this red techno i think it was like pearl azumi or it was like a biker style top that had this like really fun pleated detail and this really cool hand painted green tank top sold for 40 dollars. and then my last depop sale is this vintage actually vintage like old old navy black ribbed knit y2k v-neck sweater vest sold full price for 25 dollars. so then on to posh on um, the first day, which was the 17th, I had two. I didn't have any. My first one was this Aritzia TNA tie-dye waffle Alamo thermal top. Oh, it sold for cute. 25 and I get 20 and it actually was doing very, very well. I had no model picture and I was kind of regretting buying it because I paid like nine or something, but it actually sold really quick. So mm -hmm. that was great. Then I sold this Gap 2020 cocoon hooded sage knit cardigan. This was cute. Sold for $30 and I get 21 32 That was obviously a bins find because that's the only place I get Gap. And like I said, with the mall brands, I know I'm like beating a dead horse, but I get anything, not anything, but I get ones that I like that mm -hmm. are 2020, 2021, or 2022. And usually I will put the year in the title so people know that like this is a current piece. It's like from a few years ago. Yeah. Then on the 18th, I had two. I had two as well. My first one was very fitting for the season this and it went fine. to one of you guys. It went to Melanie. So Melanie. hello, Melanie, and thank you. I was very tempted to keep this though, Melanie. <laughs> she got the Old Navy Universal Studios Dracula t-shirt. It sold for 25 to Melanie and I get 20. So I hope you love that, Melanie. And so uh. another mall brand. This time more of a girlies one. And this even surprised me. I literally have one of these that I need to list. It's green. Is it actually from H&M or yeah. is it like vintage? No, it's H&M. No. H&M &M oh. Trendy. Where is it? Yes, it's I used somewhere Trendy. H&M Trendy 2022 Floral Lace Trim skirt this is on the website still for i think 29.99 so Smart i man. listed it for 25 and it sold for 22 and i get 14.92 and honestly like i just got this less than two weeks ago so quick thank quick. you like 13 dollars minus the <laughs> oh dollar you paid yeah, for it that thing weighed nothing they literally are just that was like, like free yeah. with the bins are so nice. Okay, first on the 18th, a pair of Bandu Bando green super bloom cotton pajamas. I had these set that I'm selling for a lovely friend of mine. They sold for $35 and she makes 28. Then I sold this pair of Lululemon purple dance studio drawstring pants, the unlined version. Um $68 and I make 54.40. Then on the 19th, I had 3 Ooh, no. My first one, once again, very fitting for this season. Fifth Sun Gourd Pumpkin Printed <clears throat> Ball T-shirt. And no, this is not from my I was personal say, collection. You no, you were the You guys one. probably know that I've worn this shirt many times in videos, oh, yeah. and this is not mine. And if I didn't have one already, I would have kept this one. It's so cute, though. I love this shirt. And if I needed one, I could get one. And if I needed one, I could go get one, but you could not because you are not that kind of girl. $19, and I get fifteen twenty, and that's just a Target T-shirt. But it's so cute we and obviously so fitting. Right. Then, oh my gosh, if I can find a picture of this. I sold this Versace jeans leopard gold printed t-shirt. I bought this brand new in like sophomore year of high school from the Macy's downtown. Oh, that, that is, doesn't exist anymore. That is now closed. That's so sad. Back when Lil Young Jack was like first like tiptoeing into buying some clothes or more than like... Twenty dollars a piece, <laughs> and I got Aww. two Versace T-shirts, and I was like over the moon because I was like obsessed with Versace so in high school. Sold for fifty, and I get forty. Honestly, I probably didn't even lose that much money over time from this, and I wore it a lot. So you I got did my wear the crown when we first met. But if I can find a picture, it will be up here because I was so excited. I had to go home and make like an Instagram post of like I Aww, have Versace. You bought clothes. a Versace T-shirt. Yeah, Cute. that's so funny. And then oh my, my last on the nineteenth went to. Jill. So hello, Jill. We love Jill. Uh, this hi, is a, Jill. This is a Jill stand. 
Manning household. Yes, it absolutely is. She purchased this vintage crochet grandma core knit purple crochet blanket, sold for $40. Oh. I get $32, so thank you, Jill. So cute. Those are so adorable. I really love the purples in that, too. You don't see too many purple. No. You really don't. They're usually just like that cream. Yeah. Or they can be like brown Sometimes and like they orange. Like, I like the orange ones with the yellow. Yeah, I think but that's really the cute. purple I thought was really cute. First up and only for me on the 19th was this loyal Hannah black white patterned nursing dress. This was a maternity item and I like don't know anything about maternity. I picked this up because I thought it was kind of like cute because I know sometimes like some maternity clothes can get like a little frumpy. This was adorable. Uh, I sold for $12. I make Nano 5. It was a bins find. Somebody who's having a baby is going to be able to use this, which is great. Yeah. Good for them. Then on the 20th, when it was a million degrees outside, I had four sales. I had six. My first one did not surprise me with how no, fast it sold. This, this sold within a couple hours of listing oh. it, and I knew it would happen. Vintage Rare Talbot's Fruit Embellished Cardigan. So cute. So cute. Looked just like a Michael Simon. Absolutely. I, like, when I found it in the bins, I, like, ran to Ryan. I was like, look at I was like, is that a Michael Simon? <laughs> I was going to get, like, mad if he was going to say yes. It sold for $40, and I get $32. I listed it at $50, and honestly, I, A, could have probably listed it higher. Absolutely and B, if I had waited, I probably could have got the $50 for it. Oh, but you know 100%. what? It went quick, so that's okay. And it was a bins fine, so it cost me nothing. Then Colby popped into my closet. Hello, Colby, and thank you for shopping in my closet. This she purchased cute. this Ralph Lauren Tribal Aztec Print Button Sweatshirt. Sold for $40, and I get twenty nine thirty two. Any of the tribal stuff, Ralph Lauren, from any other lines, totally pick it up. So thank you, Colby. And I sold this Sorel Joan of Arctic Distressed Pair of Leather Boots. Sold for 63, I get 50, 40. When I have these, they're bins finds and they're yeah. not ever in the best shape. No. So if you have like newer ones, they can go for like a hundred plus. They do much better if they're like in better condition yeah. than the ones we found in These ones weren't in the worst shape because I have some that are in much worse shape, but still. Then I sold this pair of athletic kick booty flared purple leggings. Oh, and these probably did quite these well. were doing really well. Like really well. I can see that. Sold for 25 and I get 1732. And that was it for my 20th. My first on the 20th, starting out the day wonderfully, was this pair of Manolo Blahnik black leather toddy sock heels sold for 200 bucks i make 160 and i do not remember where i got these no like for the absolute life of me i don't know where they came from i'm <laughs> sure you made money though oh no i absolutely <laughs> did i absolutely did i have in my notes that i paid 90 dollars for them oh so i make 70 those bucks, are cute which is super very nice. good for the season very good for the season these were bins find bally men's animal collection low top <sighs> leather sneakers and they're it's interesting because the guy that bought these is like an alpine singer oh. for like so i'm guessing like if you're a beer person like we are, the Oktoberfest mm. is recently coming into the cultural consciousness, and I feel like that's probably what he's doing. He's going to go play his little, like, recall the flute. With his Bali shoes. Yeah, I was like, oh. oh my god, that's so fun. Like, what do you do? Completely messaging a stranger on the internet. And he's like, oh, I play the, that big flute. Like, in the Ricola <laughs> like, commercials where he goes, Ricola. <laughs> How fitting for you. Awesome. Um, they sold for 60 and I make 48. Then on the 20th, I sold this bundle of nap loungewear, which is a huge bolo, if you don't know. It's kind of like from the hall. You had um lounge underwear. Lounge underwear, and this is nap loungewear. They're really expensive. It's very like the moms and the girlies, the ones who know now. And then there's under nap loungewear. Wear, no, I'm just kidding. That's not a thing. <laughs> um, and then she also got this pair of Aloe Black 7-8 Moto high-waisted leggings. A bundle sold for 55 and I make 44 Then Miss Jill came into my hat. Jill. Came into my hat. Came into my closet into and your, she bought a hat. She popped into your hat. Mm -hmm. Jill just like... Your hat just pops up and she's like... She says, hi. hi. Um, she got this Anthropology Pick a Palm Purple... <laughs> Pick a palm. Oh. Purple beanie. Oh, yeah. these were so cute. I bought this when I was in college because it was my <laughs> college colors. Purple and gold. You. Oh, this hand. You and I. Fight. Anyway, she got it for $35 and I make $28. Thank you as always, Miss Jill. And then I sold this pair of Brandy Melville Hound's Tooth Titan little trouser pants. Sold for $24 and I make $16.52. Next and last is this Coach Brown Leather Legacy Crossbody. This was a Vince find. She had some, an issue or two. It sold for $35. And I make 28. On the 21st, I had four. Do you want me to say none or zero? <laughs> My first one went to David. So hello and thank you to David. He spotted this, actually not in the hall. He spotted it in the bin thrift with us and like chased that it down. a devoted little human being. Yes. So like me, David loves Lady Gaga. Oh, so absolutely. I had found that vintage rare Y2K Lady Gaga merch graphic t-shirt. Yeah. Sold to David for 25 and I get 20. Like I said, this was from like... 2008 to 2009. This was old. Way back. Old, old, old. 
So if David hadn't spotted it, I had a, a feeling it would sell on Depop probably. I feel like the Depop people would do quite yes. well with that t-shirt. So thank you, David. <laughs> then Urban Outfitters ribbed thermal oversized sweatshirt sold for 20 and I get 16. And this even had a spot on the sleeve, but it's still sold for 20. Ribbed. I feel like Ryan. Yes. Then I, I sold, and this is for our friend and consignment client. I sold this Anthropology Rare Field Flower Horse Printed oh, so Hooded cute. Cardigan. When she told me she had this, I was like, give it. I'll sell that for you. you. <laughs> I will easily sell that for you because I guarantee that that's like a sought after anthro piece. Sure enough, it was. Sold for 90 and we will divide 72. Then last on the 21st, once again, a newer mall piece. Gap 2019 plaid printed soft drapey flannel. Sold for $30 and I will get 24. But that's a good deal. that one, I mean, tw end of 2019, still not that old. Mm -hmm. And so fall so oh and was that that one that had like the purple in it yeah those Interesting colors, colors so too. cute yeah on the 22nd i had one oh no it was this pair of vince black pleated pull on straight trousers sold for 32 i get 25 60 honestly at this point vince rag and bone all saints nah. all saints, all saints no, if it's not for i me. was gonna say sell them yourself oh, not yeah, real real, then, the real because real. with the percents being so low in theory if you think you can sell it please just do it because mm -hmm. like you will get nothing on the real yeah. real. <laughs> it's bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, my one and only on the 22nd was a full price sale of this Free People Mint Semi-Sheer Gauze Trapeze Dress. This was really pretty and I found it in that bid strip where like the whole bid was Free People. And I kind of just like, I feel like that's thank a you. every time thing for you, so. Not last time, I only found one, two. Three. That must have been heartbreaking. For it me. was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Uh, sold for 34 and I get 2720, which was super exciting. And on the last day of what sold Saturday, aka yesterday, I had seven sales. I didn't have any. I don't know what I was doing yesterday. Oh my yesterday, God, was... so weird. I can't believe it. No, working. So my first <laughs> one went to Maggie. So hello and thank you very much, Maggie. Are you Maggie Rogers? This <laughs> bundle <Mom>. is so <laughs> fitting. It was this Rails Breton heart printed peplum blouse and this Loft 2021 heart printed puff sleeve theme. blouse. House. I know, so cute. She's very ready for Valentine's Day. Sold for 55 and I get 44 so thank you very much, Maggie. That is an adorable bundle. Then, Ilana popped into my closet and also made a bundle. Oh, and Ilana purchased this, this Torrid Floral Maxi Sleeveless Dress, along with the Vintage 2012 Little Miss Sweet Tooth t-shirt. I will say, I put this on Depop, of course, as well. Mm -hmm. And it had only been on all my sites for under 24 hours. On Depop, it was already in two people's carts. The Depop girlies and then little, like, little miss, little mix, human being, little critters. So, if... <laughs> little critters. in a pop. So because, if, like, they're if, not all, like, If people. Alana hadn't popped onto it, I have a feeling, like, Depop would have popped onto it. But, Alana said that she's a pediatric nurse, and she's working on Halloween, and she's gonna wear it on Halloween. And I oh think that God, that's fun. so Good sweet for you, and adorable. Alana. So, together... I I'm gonna wear for Halloween. Together, these sold for 40, and I get 32, so thank you very much, Alana. Next up... Knew it would go quick, and this is the same situation on Depop. This had a lot of likes already. Goth punk emo skull, once again, all keywords. Argyle Halloween sweater vest, sold for $30, and I get twenty one thirty two. Oh. so thank you for handing me that. You're welcome. That is like peak. So you owe me dinner tonight. Peak, the kind of items that I want to sell. Love it. I didn't hear it now. Then Jen popped into my closet and Jen was just waiting for me to oh, list Miss the Wild Jen. Fox bundle. I still think it's so you weird. You are going to be a comfy this. queen. Wild Fox tie-dye hoodie sweatpants set. So I found the sweatpants like two or three months ago. Then this last week, I found the hoodie mm -hmm. and they were the same size. Which is... And the same colorway. The stars so weird. align. That is like, especially shopping in the bins. Yeah. That is weird. So a rarity. together, <laughs> these sold for 68 and I get 54.40. So thank you very, very much, Jen. And then on the 23rd. You got a lot. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I had seven. So I sold kind of witch core. I sold these Zara pointed patent toe pumps. Pointed patent pumps it sounds like these look like the shoes that they wear in like the angelica houston movie yes which is, <laughs> and then they like <laughs> take all their little feet out of there sold shoes. for 20 and i get 16 these were size 41 so they were a very good size mm -hmm. and those were very very cute then another thing that kind of surprised me and it sold very quick y2k boho renaissance sheer mini embroidered 
vest. Very fairy. This was um G. It cool. was um G, so I did not put mm -hmm. vintage in the title because it definitely was not vintage. You could do retro. But as you see, I did do Renaissance because mm -hmm. I could totally see like a Ren Fest. Oh, this thing. is somebody that goes to Ren Fest, 100%. Sold for 22 100%. and I get 1760. If only like I could know what keyword was searched that led her to this, but I'm not sure. Probably Renaissance. It could be, yeah. And then last but not least for the week, I can't believe how long these took to sell because they were so cute. Anthropology really cute. Corso Como Metallic Embroidered Floral Flats. Sold for 40 and I get 32 The print on these was so adorable. And I thought they would sell a lot quicker. So my gross for this week, I was expecting it to be a lot higher because of how many items there were. But this is just for Posh. My gross was 851 And for everything I had wrapped up in a nice little bow, I made 812 and my net <laughs> was six hundred and eighty and eighty cents. Mine was six forty nine six. Debbie participates and she does no. <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing any and of that. You I'm don't sorry. do anything. No, party you, will, you will never catch me. You're supposed to be like the that. young, fresh, fun, like teacher. Everything but hurts. You're all just the time. The old, grouchy, I can't grumpy. see anything. I can't hear anything. I need to go to the home. Let's go, Grandma. Okay. <laughs> so we will see you guys on Tuesday for the Pants and Jeans Bolo video. Oh, oh that's good. And we are currently doing oh, that research. I have already learned a couple of jeans brands I had never heard of that I'm quite interested in. And then we will see the Valentines on Wednesday for ten oh. bon or eight bonus jeans and pants. Then we will see you guys on Thursday, or at least I will. I'm not sure yet what that's going to be, but Ryan, I don't know what we're doing. Ryan does Thursday. have three days of work this week, I do. so we'll see how that goes. I do. And then Friday second chance. Saturday, once on Saturday, y'all know the and schedule. And then the cycle repeats itself. Yes. So we will see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can you imagine if I just like turned off after these videos were over? <laughs> yeah, I just like hit a button. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs>